What's it like working inside a system that's operating under unprecedented scrutiny and is finding it harder than ever to recruit staff? You throw into the mix corruption and you throw into the mix issues with uh, uh, race relations and racism. Who are the good guys and who are the bad guys, really? Guilford County Jail in Greensboro, North Carolina, houses up to 900 inmates. People have been picked up on charges ranging from misdemeanors to murder. All right, Mr. Yates, I want you to take a look at this video of the incidents that we deal with every single day. If you're thinking about becoming a member of our team, we want to show you this video. Some of this may be unsettling, but this is what we deal with on an everyday basis. <laughs> We're just gonna I want what you want to. I'll be your goddamn <laughs> Hell yeah! Do your goddamn job, you monkey head. These are the type of individuals he's intoxicated, coming in, do not want to comply, and so you have to, you know, we may have to use some force to get him in. Uh oh. Just trust me. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to help you kill myself. I'm going to help you kill myself. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you out. Watching this video as a new recruit, I'm not exactly looking forward to my first shift. Pulley and I conduct cell searches. He's working on one side, I work on one side. And I'm doing this strip in his bed. And when you strip the bed and shake it and everything, making sure that nothing's not hidden. And then a lot of inmates are particular. For example, this is contraband. Suit cut, they're not allowed. Suit cuts in their room. The reason why is they can actually put urine or feces in this cup and throw it out. So what sort of things have you found on the shakedown then? Um, I said we found marijuana, cell phones, cell phones, yeah, cigarettes, anything. Where would they hide a cell phone in the cell? They will have like some type of make a like concoction of like toothpaste. Um, I don't remember the exact ingredients, but they try to hide up here, under here. Like they're just pretty, pretty much anywhere. One well, of these are going in the trash, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe they go straight to the trash. You go and check. You can open the containers. Because let's say they were to stash weed in there and yeah. shake it up, there's no way you know. Yeah. And as soon as we leave, they just knock it back out. Okay. Hey, why check your puts already? Like many of the officers here, Pulley was born and raised in North Carolina, a state where 22% of residents are African American. Yet more than 70% of the inmates here are black. I've got to ask you this, man. As a, as a, as a young black guy yourself, you know, the numbers of young black men incarcerated, even here in this pod, they're, they're overwhelming. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, definitely. why do you think you ended up wearing this uniform and not an orange one? I had a great mom. My mom, she pretty much told me always follow the rules. Um, I just always thought I was in a position. I always wanted to be an law enforcement. Do you think there's a stigma against the job if you are a, a young black guy? Oh, definitely. definitely. Sometimes they look at you as um, a traitor. They're like, hey, man, you're black. You're supposed to be nicer to us. You know, I don't know what your crime is. I don't know whether you're innocent or not guilty. You know, that's guilty or not guilty. That's not up to me. I'm not the judge or the jury. You know, my job is to make sure you follow the rules and that you're safe in here. 